how do you grow um, in, in a company? Uh, some, when you are hired, of course, as a data scientist, you're very eager to um, tackle difficult problem or you're thinking about create a model that's, that's very fancy. What is the most important thing? How do you find the projects, right? So when you're in a team, you might usually, uh, you're, when you're on a data science team, they usually have a, a, a different type of projects. Um, and then when you are a beginner on the team, maybe your manager will assign some projects for you. Um, but when you demonstrate the ability that you can finish those projects, well, maybe you can also influence your manager to uh, mention what are your interests, what type of projects do you want? So here, um, here I have three circles. So ideally, you want the projects with all three of them. And why um, three of them? So I, I'll start with business impact. So when you just started in a role, uh, maybe the senior people are working on those important projects. Um, maybe you don't get to work on the project that's most uh, interesting. And is that bad? Uh, I wouldn't say that's bad because if you think about a company, right? They, they want to have business value. They, whenever they decided to invest in a data science project, it's related to their business goals. So even if this project is not very interesting, maybe um, just want you to build a dashboard. Of course, some people are interested in uh, building a dashboard, but if you are more interested in doing some analysis or modeling, maybe that's not the most interesting thing for you, but this thing has a very important business impact. Uh, it would directly help uh, product managers make decisions. So I would say also uh, just don't feel so frustrated. Um, also uh, treat this type of jobs um, uh, as something that's important because maybe um, a lot of things hasn't been automated. And if there's just something that's not exciting, maybe you can look at the data and then drive some insight to your manager. So um, instead of just creating some metrics or report, you can build some type of uh, data science models on the side to um, help your manager make decisions. So when you just started a job business, the project that have business impact is very important. And doesn't mean those projects are bad if uh, it's not something you were interested in or if it's, it's like mathematically easy. Because if you think about how they evaluate you in the end, um, the business want to solve the problem, right? They don't care whether you are using a very fancy model or you are solving it with a simple model. If this help the business make money or, or save costs, that's a good solution. So focus on the business impact first. And then once you, you proved to your team, your manager, that you have a, the ability to have uh, to help the business to add value to your team. And then you're thinking about uh, getting a promotion to the next level. And then because you are still a data scientist, you need to think about uh, your technical depth. Usually they will promote the promotion uh, for the next level will requires the data scientists to be able to solve a more complex problem independently. Um, and there's a difference between uh, being on the big team or uh, sorry, big company or small company. If you're on a smaller company, maybe the role guidelines, how to get promoted isn't very um, clearly uh, communicated. Uh, maybe there is, if you are a startup, maybe there e even don't, the startup doesn't even have this type of uh, documentation. So what you need to do is to, when you think about a promotion, uh, you need to communicate with a manager, have uh, some type of uh, uh, roadmap created. It's better you guys can uh, write those things down. Uh, okay, what do I need to do to go to the next level? You review um, what, what are your current um, kind of weakness and then to work on those. And then um, wh how, wh what type of level are, is expected um, so once you have this communication, you know what area you need to study or take more project on that area. And uh, once you have this type of conversation, your manager can also uh, be more 
conscious in assigning project and will help you promote. So you don't have to have the conversation about promotion when you feel you want a promotion. You can have the conversation maybe six months when you're on the job and then just say something like, it's not like I'm asking for a promotion, just ask your manager, how do I grow to the next level? Uh, what do I need to study? Uh, ask for ask for feedback and don't be discouraged if the if your manager say oh you're not ready just ask them to give you some specific uh, guidelines so you can work on those areas and once and if you're on the big company for example um, I give Amazon as example we have role guidelines that is very clearly defined what is expected for each level so for example if you are the um, the entry level the entry level uh, you need to be able to finish your project, deliver results. Um, but on the next level, you need to be able to work on a project more independently. Um, and those guidelines, it doesn't require you to have to have certain specific technical skills. It's more about whether you are able to finish your project, use whatever skills you have and solve whatever problem you need to solve on your specific team. And uh, the third one is, um, uh, the third one is your, your interest. So once you, uh, whether you are in a small company or a big company, after you talk to a manager, either come out with your own path or review some type of existing role guideline, um, say you get promoted. And I think now if you have earned the trust of your company and your team, you can start to tell a manager about your interest. Um, uh, because if you, uh, it's possible, right? The business, the project with business impact and the project also have technical depth are not what you're interested in. For example, you have been working on um, A-B testing, um, doing a lot of experiment design. It's very, um, it could be very complex and it has large business impact, but you're interested in to say, build a, a machine learning model. So here is the, uh, you can ask your manager whether there are opportunities for you to try those type of models. Um, but still the, your interest shouldn't be completely uh, separated from the business impact because still you work for a company, you don't work for a research organization, right? Um, it just, uh, uh, what I want to, why interest is important because if you are always work on something, um, that you're not interested in, you're not gonna feel fulfilled on the job. And then if you don't feel fulfilled, um, your performance, you might not perform as well as someone who is very passionate about what they're doing. So I would say start, when you just start a job, start with business impact and go to uh, technical depth or th those two can be together. And then um, you can start to work on something you're interested in, but always uh, remember everything should be tied to the goal of your company, the goal of your manager. And then if um, it, it, one example is sometimes you learn the, a very new model from online, you really want to use this and it's very cool, um, but it doesn't really help your team solve a problem. So um, your manager might not really appreciate if you spend a lot of time on that type of project. So here is how you uh, grow on the team and how you get uh, a promotion. 